so often people feel so victimized and so bullied by hate on the internet and you have the power to literally silence them by just deleting their comment or reporting their video. So for example, I realized that there were three response videos that got made um, for my feminism video, at least I, I've only found three of them. And essentially what they did was they copied my video into their own video and then they intercut it with their own commentary. They never show their, they never show their face, of course, um, but they show like a little avatar, or like a black screen with a hat on it or something. I'm completely serious. And they would intercut their own commentary in it. And so I just reported these videos to YouTube for copyright infringement and that's it. This is a very serious topic that needs to be addressed. Now, this has been discussed by YouTubers who are far more popular than I am. However, this doesn't just affect big time YouTubers like Sargon of Akkad and Nostalgia Critic, but smaller YouTube channels like myself for instance. Now, some people will attempt to flag me down for whatever type of reasons such as Candy KO10 and Johnny is Bravo, both whom I met in the past and both have attempted to flag me down while also complaining about invading their privacy even though their comments about me can be seen in public. And also complain about how their content was being removed, even though Candy KO10 has been nothing more than a mere racist bigot attacking me for my race, even though I told him a million times that I am not African. But he's still being racist towards me, nevertheless. Not to mention, if you were a big fan of me back in 2012, you would know the history I went through with the likes of Candy KO10, who flagged every video of mine that I've made and successfully removed one of my channels, which is the Atheist Gamer 10. And this is what he does. Mr. Rebzion, the, the false Christian, the headmaster behind the evils of the Super Debate Station, the dick sucker to the amazing atheist who inspired many hateful atheists around YouTube to attack Christians, and of course, allied himself with the African fool who goes off on his lone hunt on strangling innocent Christian YouTubers to death with his big brown mouth spewing hate speech. Okay, uh, first of all, the Super Debate Station has little to no influence with Mr. Repsion. Two, uh, the innocent Christians that I'm attacking are those who think that they're better than us just because they believe in a higher power. They're fucking jerks, dude. And, uh, third... You're still calling me an African. You're a fucking racist. I mean, clearly, I'm white. No, you must be fucking colorblind. Yes, that was me around 2012 and 2013. I can tell that most of you are really shocked that I've been on YouTube for a much more longer period of time, and now the past is once again being repeated again on YouTube. Channels such as Team Four Star and Channel Awesome is once again being attacked by copyright complaints. And people are getting tired of this shit as it's happened time and time again. So this is nothing new. Everyone seems to be joining this because it needs to be addressed and people are tired of the abuse that people are going through trying to make a living off YouTube with this copyright bullshit and false flagging. And I'm not doing this because it's a popular thing going on, but because I'm a YouTuber and I've been a victim of this bullshit. One of my videos has been blocked worldwide from YouTube, which is my 1250 sub special, which involves other kin. Now, despite not exactly being removed from YouTube, it still does hurt me because it's still under fair use, but I'm still able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. And plus, I can simply just allow people to download the video, so I will try to leave a link in the, in the description so people can watch the video and mirror it if they choose to do so. I don't care if they make money as long as they give me credibility. Knowing YouTube, they hardly respond to anything because it feels like they aren't even human. For fuck's sakes, the lack of human interaction is so unbelievably bad. And the fact of the matter is, is that these YouTubers have to deal with strikes on their channel. Which is another thing that annoys me, because on your second strike, you cannot access your account for two weeks. And you can't even appeal for that strike to be removed. You have to wait until the suspension is up. And until then, you have to pray that none of your videos doesn't get flagged down again to get a third strike. Which is pretty annoying seeing on my other channel, every video I've made gotten a strike. 
I managed to appeal for the second strike, but not for the first. However, when I appealed for my video, it was approved. And back on YouTube again, only to get another strike. And I have to wait another two weeks. Eventually, almost all of my videos were removed because YouTube was going to remove them all anyway. This is how corrupt YouTube is. So for me, this is nothing new. But this is really getting out of hand where we're dealing with a website that seems less and less human. I doubt YouTube will respond, but we have to get up and deal with this problem because we have to at least try. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.